The exercises I'm about to show are very good exercises to strengthen glute med, some of the abductor group, and glute max. Always check with your physician or your physical therapist first to make sure these exercises are safe and appropriate for you. First, take a band of medium resistance. Um, if you are new to this, you can start with a little bit lighter resistance, and if you have been doing some strength training exercises already with ankle weights, you could use a heavier band. I'm using a medium resistance band. Take the band and tie it around both legs while your legs are together. Your knees are together and tie it quite tight. So you're going to tie the band tight and then tie it in a bow. Once you've secured the band, lie on your side so that your head is on your arm. Make sure your abdominals are zipped. The knees are going to be at a slight forward angle of the hip and your feet folded back enough that the heels are about in line with your tailbone. Take and lift the top knee, keeping your heels together. We know this exercise as clams. This is the first series of exercises. We're gonna do 10 of them, holding the resistance just for a moment at the top. So it'll be lift and hold, two, three, and then slowly lower. Lift and hold, two, three, and slowly lower. I'm showing five of each exercise, but you'll want to do at least 10 to 15. Next, inverted clams. You're gonna keep your knees where they are, but lift your feet. Keep your heels together, make a little V with your feet, and then clam or lift just the top knee. This exercise will work a little bit more through glute max and not just the posterior fibers of glute med. Remember, glute med are more along the side of your hip. Glute max is more the round part of your buttocks where we're always trying to um, create more of a bubble butt kind of position with the glutes. You'll feel all the muscles around the glute area engage, including a little glute min. So you'll want to do 10 to 15 of those. Once you've done that, set your feet down, keep your bottom knee where it is, and stretch your top leg out straight. Now the band may roll a little bit, but that's okay as long as it doesn't bother you. You may want to do it with some pants on so it doesn't pull on your skin, or if you have hair on your legs, it can pull on your hair. Make sure the leg is back enough that you feel the glute, that glute max that we were just talking about, bubble up and plump up a little bit. Generally, a good frame of reference is to make sure that the top leg is a little bit behind the bottom foot. We want just the slightest amount of extension through the leg and hip, but make sure you don't arch your back. Keep the ribs hidden and the abdominals zipped. Then you're gonna take and lift the leg up and down in little tiny movements. Lift above hip height and below hip height. Do 10 to 15 of those. Once you've done 10 to 15 of those, keep your leg about hip height and do small circles. Tiny little circles, again, feeling the glutes stay engaged the whole time. 10 circles in one direction and then reverse for 10. Now the, ne the next exercise, sometimes we nickname push the dresser away because you're gonna draw the thigh up about to the height of a 90 degree angle or chair position and then push the leg behind you as if you're pushing a dresser away that's sitting behind you. So the leg flexes up to a 90 degree angle from the hip and you press the leg away, squeezing the glutes. Do this one 10 to 15 times. By this time, you should have a nice burn through the glute meat and glute max especially. After you repeated those, take a moment and rest your knee and bring it forward of the bottom leg. That'll give you a little stretch, so you can hold that for a moment. And then we're gonna do the corkscrew. So you're gonna lift your foot up and notice that my knee's angled down to the floor. Okay, with this one, you may want to tilt into the floor just slightly. This is the only one we do that for. Press the leg up towards the ceiling enough that you feel a little glute action through here. And then bring the knee back down. And then you're gonna do that one 10 to 15 times. By this time, you should have a very nice burn throughout the glutes. You'll probably want to take your side lying exercises, come down onto your forearm. We're going to use the same leg, which was my left. We've just been lying on the right side, and I've been using this leg. Try to use the same leg. What you're going to do is keep the arm of the leg on the mat and take your other arm and reach it out to the side. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm reaching my arm out to the side. So it looks like this. I'm just barely touching the floor. From here, reach your left leg out, and then you're gonna do leg extensions up and down. Now the band may roll a little bit, don't worry about that. What's most important is that you don't arch your back. So we don't want to drop the back down as the leg lifts. Keep that nice 
abdominal lift and neutral spine. And as you lift, you're gonna to wanna to squeeze that glute max again. Bubble up that glute. After you've done 10 to 15 of those, you're gonna bend your knee and you're gonna bring your knee down to stretch the glute and then squeeze back up. And we'll do 10 to 15 of those. Remember, you can always start with five of each. You don't have to do 10 to 15. You wanna work up to that amount. Then once we've done that, I want you to come onto both forearms and then both hands and lift your leg out to your side. We call these doggy hydrants. Everybody knows these. But then you're gonna lift and after you've done 10 to 15 of these, lift the leg, extend the leg, bring it back to the hydrant and bring the leg down. So again, it's lift the leg, extend the leg back, bring the leg out to your fire hydrant position and down. And then after you've finished all those variations on your side and on all fours, switch to the other side. Once you've finished with all of them, untie your band and you have two choices. If you have healthy knees, you can do the pigeon stretch like we do in yoga, where you bring your knee forward, turn your foot out to the side, slide back, and just rest your weight onto your forearm so that we're getting a good stretch in the back of the hip. I'll show it on the other side since that's the leg I actually worked. So I would be getting the stretch right now through here. For those of you that have delicate or tricky knees, you can do this also by lying on your back. If you're gonna do it on your back, just cross one ankle over the other knee and then tuck your knees into your chest so that you get the stretch in the leg that's crossed. You can also cross the leg over and pull it in depending on where the stretch most benefits you but you should feel it through that glute area that we just worked through all the exercises. Remember that all these exercises should fatigue the muscle group out. If you can only do five of each, do five of each, but make sure your form is good and that you don't rush through the exercises. And after a while, you will have some amazing glutes, both for lumbopelvic stability, gait stability, and for aesthetics.